blood will satiate you. people within this facility. I am truly beside myself with excitement at the sheer number of lives I can now make more comfortable. I have gathered all of my remaining comfort supplies in preparation. Unfortunately, there are not enough to completely pamper a facility of this size. But that is no excuse not to do everything I can. I simply need to be efficient and apply my efforts where they will provide the greatest joy. Perhaps you could help me, Master. As someone who knows the people here, you are well equipped to determine which comforts would be most suitable for each part of the base. Excellent, Master. Let us begin at once. I shall explain each of the comfort-enhancing items available, and you will designate where to send them. No more than one per area, though. We must be fair. I have several modified food processor control chips. These will produce low-calorie meals, which are still highly nutritious. I can personally construct some portable non-perishable meals, allowing people to eat properly no matter where they might go. I have a variety of extra pillows and padding for seat cushions, a simple yet often overlooked method for enhancing contentment. Finally, I have a supply of synthetic Alderanian nectar, I have no sense of smell, but I'm told its aroma is utterly sublime when run through air circulators. Where should we allocate the modified food processor control chips? Yes, Master. Where should we allocate the portable non-perishable meals? Very well, Master. Where should we allocate the modified food processor control chips? Yes, Master. 
Where should we allocate the portable non-perishable meals? As you say, Master. Where should we allocate the additional seat cushions? At once, Master. That leaves the Alderanian Nectar for San Array and the Force Enclave. Excellent, Master. I shall get started at once. You should check in with each of the specialists. I'm sure they'll wish to praise the improvements we've surely made to their daily lives. Let me know how it goes. Commander, tell that blasted protocol droid that if he ever sets foot near my food hangers again, I'll have him scrapped and use his parts for experiments. Low calorie meals? Pah, what bright ignorance! Doesn't he realize food is the fuel of creativity? Not some prattling little. The nerve! Where's my spanner? I must recenter myself. Hey, Commander, I'm not sure what that C2 droid thinks he's doing, but he's left pillows all over the hangar and added cushions to every chair he could find. I can't figure out how he manages to get onto the ships without getting spotted. It's kind of creepy how good he is at sneaking around. Anyhow, this stuff isn't helping. It's just getting in the way, honestly. I think we should just switch that thing off. Commander, that C2 unit has started dropping off crates of packed meals in the barracks. I'm not really sure what's gotten into it, but it's not helpful. The meals aren't going to last in the field like our standard rations, and there's not really enough here to feed an army anyhow. Could you ask it to stop? Enclave smells strange. We believe C2N2 is attempting to help. Please, stop these distractions. Commander, is this a better time to spread comfort and joy throughout the base? Excellent, Master. Let us begin at once. I shall explain each of the comfort-enhancing items available, and you will designate where to send them. No more than one per area, though. We must be fair. I have several modified food processor control chips. These will produce low-calorie meals, which are still highly nutritious. I can personally construct some portable, non-perishable meals allowing people to eat properly no matter where they might go. I have a variety of extra pillows and padding for seat cushions, a simple yet often overlooked method for enhancing contentment. Finally, I have a supply of synthetic Alderanian nectar. I have no sense of smell, but I'm told its aroma is utterly sublime when run through air circulators. Where should we allocate the modified food processor control chips? Yes, Master. Where should we allocate the portable non-perishable meals? As you say, Master. Where should we allocate the additional seat cushions? At once, Master. That leaves the Alderanian Nectar for Dr. Ogarob and the research lab. Excellent, Master. I shall get started at once. Let us hope we have properly distributed the comforts this time. Please check with the specialist again. I shall eagerly await your return. Commander, do you care to tell me what that protocol droid was doing near the lab's air circulators? I... Divine fragrance. Is that Alderanian nectar? Yes, aromatherapy, of course. Inspiring the mind by inspiring the senses. I dare say that droid has actually had a brilliant idea. Ah, yes. I must create. Hey, Commander, want a sandwich? That C2 droid just came and dropped off a crate of packed lunches for us. They're pretty tasty. That droid can cook. And they're all neatly packed up, too. Our pilots can just grab a few when they go out on a run. Maybe I had that droid figured wrong. Thank him for us, would you? Commander, that C2 droid just did something kind of amazing. He's modified the food processors in our barracks, and now everything they're making is nutritionally optimized. Some of the troops might complain a bit, but this will be great for keeping our forces in fit fighting shape. If you see that droid, thank him for me. 
Commander, C2N2 brought cushions and padded our seats. The padding reduces discomfort and distraction. Thank it for us. Master, were our comfort enhancements well received? Oh my, appreciation. This news fills me with such happiness. I, oh dear, my joy circuits are overloading. I'm sorry, Master. I must avoid further stimulation. Please, excuse me. Good to see you whole. I'd half expected to encounter your ghost in a place like this. Hoped, really. Not to cast a pull on the good news, but I'd given quite a bit of thought to your tomb. The ancients would have envied it. Welcome to Yavin Fall, my lord. Oh, this is not the first time you've been here, I know. Nor will it be the last, I'm sure. A lifetime of knowledge is buried on this world. I came to Yavin 4 to study the mechanisms of the Temple of Sacrifice. Your strike team was quite thorough disabling it, but portions are still woven throughout the area. My theory is this ancient piece of technology may share traits with others built by the Sith Emperor. Spot on, my lord. What little has been revealed about Zekul indicates that their eternal fleet is attuned directly to their Emperor's will. The Temple of Sacrifice seemed attuned to our former Emperor in a similar way. If you'd help me exhume a few samples, we could take them for analysis. That's the spirit. Here are the locations we should search. I'll be right behind you. periods are completely at odds. Hmm. In any case, an investigation for another day. Let's continue with our present task. Sometimes I forget the kind of being our Sith Emperor. That looks like it hurt.
simply wouldn't function. Ooh, that looks like it hurt. The historical mind is ever curious and never sated.
I'll await your call. Almost finished. I've identified one more sample to excavate. There. That should do it. We should return to camp before any of these pieces are damaged. Ha! Just like old times! I haven't been chased by marauding life forms on an expedition since you disappeared. Quite missed the thrill of it. We couldn't have done it without you, my lord. This should be everything I need. share my gratitude over your recent recruitment of Talos Drelic, and commend your insight. In truth, we have sorely needed an individual more specialized in ancient knowledge and the more force-oriented technologies. Sadly, my genius lies elsewhere, and as these types of technologies form the foundation of so much within the Eternal Empire, it has been a consistent stumbling block for us. However, Dr. Drellick's insights have already started to break down these barriers to our progress, and I delight to imagine the inevitable breakthroughs that will soon follow. In fact, he was just speaking to me about the thesis for his doctorate, an in-depth analysis of an ancient race known as the Dashad. Fascinating work. 
Apparently, these creatures could siphon and consume force essence. Imagine what might result if the mechanisms behind this ability could be properly researched and understood. Could we create some sort of fixed or even portable biotechnological platform? Some sort of force dampening or consuming field, or perhaps an explosive or warhead-like delivery platform? The possibilities, so myriad it is dizzying. I... I must be alone with my thoughts. Such inspiration must be captured. no word from shaft 12 atmospherics are bad maybe keep trying them just keep trying i'm not losing anyone else out there hi oh i'm sorry you startled me there's a killer out there and i didn't see you walk up oh. i oh of course Things were going well, more or less, until a few weeks ago. Stopped getting word from a few of our camps. Then we started finding the bodies. Hacked to pieces. Nothing else touched. His only motive seems to be to hurt us. Our camps are all over this ice ball. It'd be dumb luck if he struck again right where you happen to be. It started around the time we broke ground on Shaft 16. Probably a coincidence, but maybe there's something there we don't know about. I'll mark Shaft 16 on your map. Please be careful. This guy won't think twice about trying to kill you if you cross paths. <laughs> 